welcome to this very special episode, which we are at Calabogi Motorsport Park testing out a new aero package. Earlier today, we were back at our home base installing a new splitter and spoiler on our Scion FRS. See the sides, can you go higher on the side? Tell me you're touching here. How you been testing is gonna turn up? I think it's gonna go great. If we get there. actually have the creator of these upgrades coming down from Montreal, a good friend of mine. Seb, why don't you come on in and tell us about what you're doing. Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian. I'm a part owner of High Perform Design and we specialize in custom 3D printed parts. I actually got a request from Mark uh, to build him a custom front splitter and a rear wing. Let's go to the rear of the car. Let's check out the, the rear wing. Um, this has been print printed in one piece. It prints standing up and it took 28 hours to print, 908 layers uh, of material. Uh, this is made out of PETG, which has very good layer adhesion. So the, the strength properties and the flexibility properties are great. Uh, it also is UV resistant. We've had uh, a couple of iterations tested for force on point loads and distributed loads. Uh, and they did very well in the lab, but uh, for now we're going to see exactly how it can produce downforce in the real life. If you follow me to the front, we'll see a, a three-piece front splitter. Uh, same process, uh, this took around 40 hours to print because we were trying different things and it also has a bunch of other uh, 3D printed mounts that uh, fit onto the crash bar and the sides of the car. Uh, same material. It has some uh, aluminum extrusions and aluminum plates integrated into it to give it that extra strength. This is the sixth iteration and the first one to fit on the car. Um, installation went great, everything lined up properly as per the laser scan. Um, and we're really excited to see how it does. first glance everything's feeling right, uh, nothing's wrong, it's not like it's flapping, uh, it's not like it's creating a lift or anything so uh, we'll just have to wait to get some temperature in the tires and uh, get the confidence that the brakes are working as they should and then once we do that we'll be able to open it up. We're running short track right now and by the time I take turn one and I get to turn ten I have to start shifting into fifth gear so I don't remember having to do that before which means that the, dr the drag has been reduced significantly. Survived the, survived the first uh, couple of laps. It doesn't seem to be any visible damage on it, so that's good. Yeah, all the mounts are intact. So let's see if he gets up to speed, what he can do. Yo, yo, how did it go? It's pretty good, man. Yeah? Um, it's 
still on the car. Yeah. Which, which is the main reason why we wanted to come here today, to make sure this was not gonna go underneath the tires. Absolutely. And uh, do some, some, something fun. Um, to be honest, it's hard to say because of the tires we've got on. These tires have now done 24 hours of racing. But, um, I gotta say, it's, the car feels great. I think the most noticeable thing is the reduced drag. Right. I'm gaining top speed, um, which that I didn't have before. And I don't feel like I'm losing anything on the high speed stuff. Um, That's good. That's what you wanted. And I mean, we gained the uh, valuable knowledge on the strength of the mounts. And yep. now we can, we can work forward on, uh, on developing motor downforce. So we, yep. uh, Have you noticed anything? It looked really solid, like coming down the straight. Uh, yeah, I was expecting to see a little bit of uh, a flex in uh, on the sides, but uh, they were they were pretty good. So we'll have to evaluate once uh, once we get back at the shop. But uh, honestly, a very successful first day. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I'm happy. Uh, it's like you said, it's still on the car. We know there's a couple of little things we can do to make it better. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, really, really happy. I'm looking forward to making a couple of little upgrades and uh, sending it at Mosport. One, one thing's for sure, uh, it looked good out there. Nice! <laughs> Looks for everything. If you look fast, you go fast. Yeah, there you go, there yeah. you go. <laughs> no, man, honestly, thank you for all the hard work so far. Looking forward to continue Absolute to develop pleasure. this. Yeah, yeah, and I, uh, I think we can...